okay <coughs> um so here we are in um sublime text uh, 2 so just before we start doing any coding i'll just um lay out the prerequisites that is the stuff that we'll need for to be able to carry out this task so basically we're going to need jquery library and um css and um html yeah so basically that's all we're going to need to be able to carry out this um so here we are in um sublime text again and um, we have empty html document so we'll just head over to the jquery website right now and just get a fresh copy of the latest um jquery version so we search google jquery so that takes us to the jquery website so here we are so we say it's download jquery now okay so we'll get the um, uncompressed version and then save that to desktop so we'll create a new folder in the desktop call it um, jquery carousel slider and we will create a js file in there and then save this as let's just save it as jquery.js so that we'll be able to remember it properly okay here we go okay um i know we did this um the other way around i probably should have set up this folder before but um yeah let's do that right now before we start any coding so here we are this is our base folder so we'll need a css folder and now uh, we'll need an images folder so in in sublime text we can just drag this folder over here so we can see whatever's in it so our H new HTML document will save it initially inside the same folder in the desktop we'll save it as um, index.html okay here we go so first we'll need a parent um, to cover the whole page we'll call it a we'll give it a class of page so class of page so just to test out that our page is all alright so we'll just say this is our page let's put that in a h2 tag um, actually let's, let's remove that let's say jquery image slider okay we'll open our folder open this in chrome so here we go yay our page works okay we've got that so next what we'll do is include our jquery script file just mind you usually people in include it at the top here just after the link but for um, it's been proven that for performance sake you should include a jquery script just before the closing body tag so we'll just include it there so source equal to js slash if you remember the reason we're doing js is because we saved it in the js folder here so it's called jquery.js so we have js jquery dot js okay so now we'll um create another script file and then that's where our javascript will be we could embed it here in the page and start typing away but as i'm sure you know right now um, that's not a very good way of writing JavaScript always have your JavaScript in a separate file no matter how small it is unless you have a perfectly good reason for leaving it in your HTML page don't do that so remember that guys JavaScript always in a separate file you will thank me later in your careers <laughs> okay all right enough about um, theories let's carry on with the real work now so we create a new um, file save it as a uh, in the JS folder we call it custom custom.js that's where all our custom JavaScript will be so we we'll link to that as well sorry it's called custom.js right so let just to test out that jQuery has been linked up and working properly we're going to 
um, just do a simple jQuery function we'll do a jQuery dot ready document dot ready and then pass it um, a anonymous function so what we're going to do is we're going to do a console dot log and then we'll say we'll just log something to Chrome's logger just to see that jQuery is, is running so it, this identifier here only works when you have jQuery so anything inside of here can only work if jQuery has been embedded into our page here properly so before we move on further do any HTML work let's just test out that jQuery is, is working right so we'll say jQuery works so coming into Chrome here, if we press on F12 and go to our console, ooh, what do we have here? So we have failed to load resource. So it's saying that it can't file CSS, it can't find CSS forward slash main. Okay, let's go to our HTML. Ah, here we go. So we had a link, um, CSS link here, but this main.css hasn't been created. So let's create that just to make chrome happy because it doesn't like missing files so we'll go to css and then create main.css and then save it yes brilliant so now let's go over to chrome and refresh this wow error's gone so now it says jquery works so that means uh, whatever we had here in our custom.js um, is working as it's supposed to okay so now let's go back to our HTML and then set up our um, carousel structure that we'll be working with. So we'll need a sorry, we'll need an initial div containing div for the outside of the carousel. We'll give that a class of um, carousel outer, and then we'll have a inner div. We'll give that a class of um, carousel inner. So this will contain um, the image links for the carousel images. So we'll have a um, bunch of images here. So let's just copy and paste those many times. So and then just before. <laughs> Um, the containers of the images will have a previous and a next link as I showed you in the previous um, video if you didn't if you don't know what we're talking about just go back and watch the previous um, video you'll see that carousel has a previous and a next um, link for moving the images to previous and forward so we'll have a link here an a link it will have p previous as it's um text and then we'll have a next image just after all um, images sorry we'll have a next um, link to take us to the next image just after the list of images as you can see here so when we click on this new um, link having next that should take us to the next image and then if we click on the previous one it should take us to the previous image so let's hook up the images actually let's see how our page looks right now let's go to Google Chrome and then refresh so we've refreshed as you can see we have just the previous and the next link with no images in between that's because we didn't look we didn't give these images proper sources so it just so happened that I have a bunch of images in my desktop here uh, five images so we'll just copy those and then paste it in our image folder here so we'll go back to our HTML and then properly make this image so the first image is in image forward slash bed dot jpeg so we'll copy that and then Populate the next image um, source tag bridge and then we do that for the third image as well um, insect dot jpeg do it for the fourth one 
sunlight.jpg. Do it for the fifth fifth one. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I made a mistake. I pressed the Control C, so we'll just type that out. Um, image forward slash server.jpg. Okay. So if you don't know what these images are, these images are just um, simple JPEG pictures, as you can see. 